brought to you through the regional support of First 5 Fresno County, First 5 Tulare County, and First 5 Madera County. Because it's all about the kids. Having a child means you will have to do a lot of planning and decision making. It's important for your baby's future. But what if your child has special needs? Claudia Salis Alcala tells us how parents can get help developing a plan of action. Okay. Oh, hug the baby. Meet Natalie Poudrer. This adorable, bright, and playful three-year-old has Down syndrome. So get in, duck. Here we go. From the very beginning, Natalie's family took steps to ensure she is developing to her full potential. They partnered with the local school district just after her birth. I started working with Natalie when she was just probably a month old. She was just this little tiny thing sitting on the couch. Barbara Brodus is a special education teacher with the Madera County Office of Education. She worked with the family to create an IFSP, also known as the Individual Family Service Plan. So different ways we want her to be saying her sentences, not just Natalie, give, or I want. We want a lot of variety in her language. Okay. Individual Family Service Plan is an IFSP, and that is sort of like the contract for the school district and the parents um, with the child's goals and all from birth to three-year-old children with special needs. She's my first child, so I didn't know what to expect with any typical child, so it gave me an idea to know what to expect with a typical child and then to know where she should be. So with her teacher Barbara, she's helped show me that, well, Natalie might not be here, but this is what we can work on to get her there. The IFSP documents and guides the early intervention process for children with special needs and their families. The goal is to provide the child with quality educational programs, along with good medical care and a stimulating home environment. It shows me goals that she's already accomplished and it gives me goals she'll be able to accomplish in the future six months or a year from now. The first step in the IFSP process is testing. It includes the child's current level of development, including physical, cognitive, communication, social or emotional, and adaptive. It addressed all of the possible learning delays that come with children with Down syndrome because we know each kid is different. Um, so it helped with crawling in the very beginning to walking. When she got older, they helped with speech when she was real little. We would copy her sounds and she would then imitate us. <laughs> so those types of things. The IFSP is created by a group of people who meet with a family to create goals. The teacher, or a speech therapist, if they've got occupational physical therapists involved, they can be involved. So anyone working with the child, the parent, and the administration. And that's like, yeah, that's the team. The IFSP can give parents direction and provide a way for parents to track their child's progress. I believe it not only gives me and my husband an opportunity to know where Natalie needs to go, but it gives us, not only us, but our entire family a way to view and see where she needs to go and help her. Because it's not just the teachers, it's not just me, it's not just my husband. Anybody that's involved in her life will be able to teach her and show her where to go. If a child has physical limitations, accommodations can be made. Let's say they're at an age of writing their ABCs, they'll learn to do the typewriter or the, you know, some kind of oh, this computer, <laughs> you know, so they will learn to poke the letters. So they're still learning their ABCs, but they're not learning to write them. Parents should know they do have rights when it comes to their child's IFSP. They have rights to have copies of everything. Everything's done in their language. Everything's confidential. Um, there's, you know, a whole list of rights, but primarily they are the parent. And so they can say yes or no to any kind of services. They can say, I don't like that evaluation. I want a different one. And if there is a language barrier, it's not a problem. One of the rights is everything's done in their language with copies in their language. So we would get a translator to come to the meetings as well as to translate it written if they need it. The child's parents and teacher will meet every week until the child's third birthday. After that, the family and school district will move on to create an IEP, the Individual Education Plan. Whose turn is it? Natalie has just started her IEP plan 
Her family moved from Madeira to Fresno, where she is in preschool at Fremont Elementary, her goals moving with her. Mom Ashley says a good plan can give the parent guidance and the confidence they need to build a strong foundation for their child's future. When you're told that your child's going to have Down syndrome or whatever it might be, you kind of get like, well, you know, they're not going to be like the typical child. But it helps because then you're like, well, it doesn't matter. She's typical. She has grown so much from where she was, and she is going to be able to do those things like read and write and talk. And as you can see, Natalie is active, involved, bright and happy as she takes on preschool, tackling writing assignments, singing along in the classroom, and enjoying new friendships. Brought to you through the regional support of First Five Fresno County, First Five Tulare County, and First Five Madera County. Because it's all about the kids. <laughs>